nations to participate in this meeting. Despite the welcome intensification of negotiations, there have been worrisome developments on the ground that we cannot ignore. I wish to reiterate the United Nations' unequivocal call on all to refrain from violence and incitement, to reinforce calm and reverse negative trends in order to preserve the tentative opening in the political process. It is so decided. After 20 years of talks and too many negative developments on the ground, we don't need lengthy negotiations. What we and the parties need are decisions, the right decisions and leaders who are committed to usher in an agreed political solution. It seems that the stakes are so heavy on the critics. Illegal and provocative Israeli actions, whether by the government, its occupying forces, or its extremist settlers, are raising deep doubts about Israelis' true intentions in the negotiations, reinforcing the notion that it is only using this period to further entrench its settlement enterprise and de facto annexation of Palestinian land while simultaneously attempting to ease international pressure in this regard. Would never use weapons of mass destruction. Instead of building houses, Hamas is building smuggling tunnels. And instead of building schools, they're building terror networks. This is the reality that Israel has to live with every day. Instead of using construction materials to build a better future for the Palestinians and the Palestinian people, the leadership in Gaza is committed to destroying the state of Israel. The United States condemns in the strongest terms any calls for violence. We're especially concerned about the recent discovery of attack tunnels <clears throat> emanating from Gaza into Israel. In addition, we remain concerned about ongoing incidents of violence in the West Bank, as well as recent clashes around holy sites in Jerusalem. We stress the importance of maintaining calm in these sensitive places. We urge restraint on the part of all sides and call upon all parties to avoid taking actions that undermine final status negotiations. Following the bold lead of both Prime Minister Netanyahu and President Abbas, it is essential that we all work to build the trust and confidence necessary for a lasting peace.